So last night I went to the Sweetener World tour consisting of arguably the biggest pop star in the world right now, Ariana Grande, and I want to tell you guys about it. So before I get into the actual details, let me give you a backstory about me and my history with Ariana Grande. I was never a huge fan, I didn't dislike her, I didn't love her, but with the release of Sweetener and Thank You Next, she grew on me a lot and they have been an essential part of my playlist. For the past two years and her music has helped me a lot whether i need a confidence boost some sappy music to relate to or just something to feel good her music does it for me i feel like she has progressed as an artist within the past three years which drew me closer to her and her music because at first i really didn't care if i'm being real now on to the show it started off with social house the group who is famously known for collaborating with ariana on boyfriend and they did a great job with the energy. They're very energetic. I feel like they do a great job with getting the crowd going. I didn't know any of the songs they performed, but hearing them live, I was like, damn, they sound good. I got to check this EP out after the concert, which I did, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me back it up a little bit. Before the actual concert started, the playlists that were playing, I heard that Ariana handpicks the songs herself. And let me just say, she does have some great musical taste. I heard Amy Winehouse, I heard Britney, I heard Frank Ocean, I heard Jay-Z, I heard Emojin Heap, I heard Madonna. She was very versatile with her music taste. She did Mary J. Blige, hip-hop, R&B, pop, all of it. Which I feel does greatly explain her as an artist because she has dabbled in all of those genres. Now, before I actually bought the ticket to the Sweetener Tour, I was a bit weary because I've seen people posting stuff that was simply blown out of proportion. I feel it was blown out of proportion. The thing with Ariana is she's a huge star. She shot up to new heights within this era of her career. And with that comes more hate, more eyes on you. And people will find a way, even if it's nothing, they will find a way to make it something just to get you in the headlines more in a negative light. Anyways, leading up to Ariana actually coming out, there was so much adrenaline. I mean, it was crazy. Just hearing the crowd roar, hearing the screams, hearing like the bass and the music, it was so intense, but it was a good intense. She rose from the ground singing God is a Woman in Raindrops, and it was amazing. I mean, she sounded amazing, she looked amazing, and I don't remember the exact order of the songs, but I do remember Break Up With Your Girlfriend Because I'm Bored came closely after that, and the bass, I love the beat to that song. The bass is so captivating and I just felt it like you could just feel it in your chest. And then I saw Ariana. Ariana was literally so close to where I was sitting. And it was just the most crazy feeling. It was the, I can't even explain it. It was just so much adrenaline. She looks exactly like her pictures. She looks exactly like her pictures. She's so beautiful in person. I mean, she looks amazing. But the thing is, she's so tiny. Like, you would not expect her to be that tiny. It sort of looks like her hair was sort of bigger than her in person. I don't know. Like, in pictures, it looks proportionate. Even if it's long or sort of big, her hair looks proportionate. But in person, it looks like her hair is huge. She did The Light Is Coming, which is one of my personal favorites. I mean, I was singing immediately as the man in the background was singing. You know, the sample that she used in that song. I was singing immediately when that came on. Um, she did the Christmas songs, which I didn't really know, but they sound so good live. And the confetti that came out, like the snow confetti thing that she had going on, that came out was so beautiful. And then the moon, oh my God. So, it was so pleasing to look at and the lights. And the crowd completely like transformed when Seven Rings came on. I mean, that was the craziest part. I'd never heard like a scream so loud. And then the set, the pink car, the way she rose from the ground, and then the dancers, it was so aesthetically pleasing. One of the funnest songs I didn't expect is Sweetener. Not that it's a bad song, but I just didn't expect it to have that motion, I guess. But Ariana made the crowd do like this jump thing, and it was really fun. She was very interactive with the crowd. And I made eye contact with her, which was really exciting and really weird. Like, it was like this out of body experience for like a split second. Like, I looked Ariana Grande right in the f eyes, which is insane. She did some of my favorites, which was Get Well Soon, which is like one of my personal all time favorites by her. 
and it was so exciting and i heard that i got lucky because she wasn't doing it for the rest of the show because she said that it was boring but she decided to add it back when in my leg of the tour which i was really grateful for needy was great she did dangerous woman as well and she sounds exactly like the records like there's nothing there but her voice her voice is exactly the same she is a thousand percent a bona fide vocalist i really wanted a seven rings dollar as a collectible but they didn't throw them my way so i was unlucky on that part but i did thoroughly enjoy the entire show one point that actually like tricked me i got tricked up for a second because she had just got done playing get well soon i thought she was about to play in my head like live but it was just the interlude i was like damn because i love that song i think that's one of the best songs off of thank you next she performed a lot of songs but it went by so fast and i think that just shows it was a good show you know if you're in the moment it goes by so quick and you're just enjoying everything you don't have time to just focus on whatever's going else around you you're just in the moment living enjoying the music she also made everyone sign up to vote which was really cool especially for some of her younger audience just to get them into that mindset of voting which is nice she closed out the show with thank you next which was an ode to the music video she had on a similar outfit that was in the music video and she looked great i really really enjoyed the exit it wasn't just like a walk off stage they literally danced their way into the stage and it was very energetic, I loved it. Now I say all of this to say, I have a newfound respect for Ariana Grande. She is an amazing vocalist, she's a good performer, and she's very energetic, very interactive. The vocals are there, the stage presence is there, the interactiveness is there, the production value is there as well. Now if you can make it within the last few shows that she has left, I do recommend it. You won't be disappointed. She is great. Now this is just more of a conversational video. I did want to tell you guys about my experience because I don't see that many people talking about their tour experience. Especially people like my channel that primarily focus on music and pop culture. And what better way than to focus on pop culture than sharing my moment that was held with one of the biggest pop stars in the world right now. Ariana showed a lot of personality as well. She was very playful, she laughed a lot, and she was very present. I know some stars can get in that mode where they just zone out and just forget about everything else and only focus on the music, but she was there with the crowd as well. And she has great music taste as well. I was sitting there before the show started during the playlist, I was literally shazamming every other song and I even took some notes of the song titles that I couldn't shazam because it was so loud. And in the future, when she goes on tour again, I think I will 100% be present. I think she's the perfect example of someone who deserves all of their success because even if there wasn't stage lights or even if there wasn't choreography, yes, that is a great factor into putting on a show. But with Ariana, I think even if it wasn't all of that and just a spotlight and just her, her voice does it all. It's sheer talent. Sometimes I would just pause. I would find myself in awe just because of her voice and how great she sounded. Now, by no means is there any complaints on my end. However, I'm going to tell you guys some of my personal favorites that she didn't perform that I wish she did. Starting with Thinking About You from Dangerous Woman. That is one of my favorite songs by her. I think top five in my favorite Ariana songs. I mean, that's a great song, but she said it's too sad, so I understand why she doesn't perform it. From Sweetener, I would say Borderline and Better Off. Those are my some of my two favorites. She performed almost every song from Sweetener, though, besides about five songs. Breathe In is actually the song that me and her made eye contact to, so it was one of those songs already that like helped motivate me, but now it has even more meaning to it she also did every almost every song from thank you next besides imagine and in my head and ghosting yeah really weird i could have sworn it was more but that's literally it she performed every song off this album besides three now if we're reaching back into her discography i would say one last time but i understand why she doesn't perform that because of one love manchester um i would say break free and best mistake and only one how could i forget about only one one of my favorite songs by her ever i'm in love with her runs on that song but yeah i enjoyed having this conversation with you guys and there's not much to say 
Ariana motherfucking Grande is amazing live, okay?